capital migrates, but you you know when you're buying a stock, you're betting on the performance of this company over time, and you get a CEO, you get the next product release, you've got competitors, you've got what are the regulators going to do, you know how are they going to tax it? There's a lot of uncertainty and risk. What if I could just buy digital gold in cyberspace, where no one can make any more of the gold? I got 21 million virtual gold coins in cyberspace. They're on a global network. Nobody can make any more, and there's no CEO, no company, and no country to screw it up. And nobody can take this away from me. I can take personal custody of my digital gold, and that's what we call Bitcoin. Ten years ago, you didn't have Bitcoin. First of all, Bitcoin is the solution to the problem because it is the apex property. You can't inflate it away. It's a global monetary network for people that want to store their economic energy for the next hundred years. When the currency completely collapses, the economy completely breaks down because if the currency breaks, you know you can't trade. And you're reduced to basically Stone Age barter, or iron, call it Iron Age barter. If I'm growing zero percent a year and the money's getting weaker, twenty percent a year, the cash flows aren't worth nothing in seven years. Bitcoin's like electricity, and you could imagine in 1900, if someone said that we've got this new thing called electrical energy, you should figure it out. Uh, people would be afraid of it. I heard someone got shocked, you know, to death, electrocuted. It burned somebody's house down. I'm not quite sure. I need a degree to figure it out. I'm afraid of it. I, I would say Bitcoin's like that. You kind of need to figure it out. It's a once in a lifetime thing. It's worth the investment to figure it out. If there's one thing you learn in the 30 years, you probably ought to learn Bitcoin. It is digital energy. So I think what happens is. You know,、uh, first of all, Bitcoin is the solution to the problem because it is the apex property. You can't inflate it away. It's a global monetary network for people that want to store their economic energy for the next hundred years. So it's the solution to the problem. That's why it's it's exploding in value and in popularity. You want to monetize a token, a synthetic token that has no other use, because that way, a hundred percent of the value of the money is is monetary. It's the brand value, and that's what Bitcoin is. Bitcoin is backed by、uh, the network of Bitcoin proof of work miners. There are millions of Bitcoin miners scattered all around the world. There are billions of dollars of capital. There are billions of dollars of energy that are used to defend the network. There are there are ten thousand plus nodes running the Bitcoin software on it. There are tens of thousands of Lightning nodes to process transaction payments, and there's hundreds of millions of people that believe in it. One way it can go is in an environment where there are no property rights, where there's no, where where you have an authoritarian government and no property rights. <clears throat> they just keep printing money until they collapse the currency. And when the you know Venezuela, you know Zimbabwe, and when the currency completely collapses, the economy completely breaks down because if the currency breaks, you know you can't trade. And you're reduced to basically Stone Age barter, or iron, call it Iron Age barter. And so, I would say I became really interested in Bitcoin、uh, the second quarter of this year, and I realized that this had the potential to be digital gold. It felt like digital gold that no institutions had quite embraced, but a lot of early adopters had embraced. And everybody wants. In an expansion,、uh, expansionary economy where the money supply is expanding, you all want sound money. And the previous sound money for 5,000 years was gold, mostly sound, expanding two, three percent a year. Bitcoin is digital gold, thermodynamically perfectly sound money. In theory, on a sheet of paper, if God designed gold with no imperfections, He would have designed Bitcoin. So it's like, well, this is too good to be true. You just got to figure out, you know, is it going to be hacked? Is it going to be banned? Is anybody else going to buy into it? What's the problem? Because it looks perfect. Price discovery has disappeared. The yields have all gone negative, 
And that means that no one, no rational person is going to buy a bond. Like, why would you buy a bond that yields 2% interest if the money supply is inflating at 15% a year and if the purchasing power of everything is falling by 15%? If you hold that bond for 10 years, you'll start with a million dollars and end up with $100,000. And if you hold it for 20 years, you'll start with something and end up with nothing. Rational people are not going to buy that weak asset. The capital is going to flow from the weak asset to the stronger assets. But if I hold cash, I certainly will lose money. 100% I'm going to lose money if I hold cash. 100% I'm going to lose money if I buy a bond. And so I will, I should buy either equity as an index or I should, you know, take a bet because at least that's rational as, as opposed to guaranteed to losing everything. Capital migrates, but you, you know, when you're buying a stock, you're betting on the performance of this company over time and you get a CEO, you get the next product release, you've got competitors, you've got what are the regulators going to do, you know, how are they going to tax it? There's a lot of uncertainty and risk. And, and, and so what's a better idea? A better idea would be, what if I could just buy digital gold in cyberspace where no one can make any more of the gold. I got 21 million virtual gold coins in cyberspace. They're on a global network. Nobody can make any more. And there's no CEO, no company and no country to screw it up. And nobody can take this away from me. I can take personal custody of my digital gold. And that's what we call Bitcoin. Why wouldn't I want that? Well, it's perfectly engineered. Like if God invented a perfect place to store all of your life savings, they would, they, they, he, she would invent Bitcoin. So it's perfect. So why wouldn't I do it? Well, maybe it'll be hacked. We wait 12 years. It hasn't been hacked ever. Maybe it'll be banned. Well, actually it's property by the IRS and the SEC in the United States. It's not banned. And when all these institutions buy it, you know, it's not banned, it's property, it'll be here for the long term. You have to grow faster than the rate at which the currency is weakening. If, if the currency is expanding at 15% a year, you have to grow at faster than 15% a year, your cash flows. So there's a rational reason to buy big tech or to buy the, the high flyers, because if they're not going to grow 25% a year, if I keep expanding the money supply by 20% a year, the, you know, you just do discounted cash flow analysis. You have to discount the cash flows by the rate of money supply expansion. If I'm growing 0% a year and the money's getting weaker 20% a year, the cash flows aren't worth nothing in seven years. So ultimately, what's going on here is you either have to put your money in the stock market and guess on high tech, high growth, and that's a challenge, but you can do it. That's the popular con solution. Or the other solution is I put my money in a bank in cyberspace, the bank of Bitcoin. It's run by incorruptible software and it offers me a global, affordable, safe, secure savings account for a person that either has the, neither has the means or the inclination to run their own hedge fund. And that in essence is what Bitcoin is. That's why people are stampeding into Bitcoin at the rate of millions a month. If I'm growing 0% a year and the money's getting weaker 20% a year, the cash flows aren't worth nothing in seven years. They're on a global network. Nobody can make any more. And there's no CEO, no company and no country to screw it up. First of all, Bitcoin is the solution to the problem because it is the apex property. You can't inflate it away.